This is another one of my favorite traveling. I love to travel, so um, this came from one of my little accessory books that go with the travel paper, but it's a cute little ticket when you can put your 5x7 in there. I also made this. I actually punched a hole in the cover for this little tag to hang from. Some cute paper hanging from it. This one measures about eight and a quarter by eight and a half with the spine about two and a half. So the front, the spine, and the back. This one is a nice, simple elastic so you can chuck it full of stuff and it will expand for you. Now, this one was done by, um, also by Cartabella Fallbreak. Um, it's based on that YouTube. So the paper pack was um, K and Company, K and Company Happy Trails. So it looked like that. Okay. So this one folds out. Nice big spots. I really like that about um, your book of memories. She does lots of big spaces for journaling. Lots of big spaces. Folds out for more space to journal with this big chunky spot. This big chunky folder in the front. And then these are just some things that I put with it. Some things that I punched out on my die cut machine. Some little cameras, some luggage, some ticket looking things. You can add all of this stuff to your photos to help hold them down or just tuck them in there. You can journal on them. There's quite a few spots for journaling. The backs are all empty. Or you can put little pictures on them however you want. I made this out of some of the leftover paper. I thought that was too adorable to throw away. So there's all of that good stuff that's going to go along with this book. And that goes right in the big pocket in the front cover. And then these, oops, we forgot that. And then these will fold that way and that way. And then the next page is going to be two big corner tucks. There. Nice journaling spaces. The paper was just adorable. I love this. Um, I would call it watercolor look. I love the so cute. So that is a big space there. You could put a photo in the back on the back here and attach it permanently and then still put your cards in there. And then each page has a center pocket for a big tag to go in. So nice big black blank tag. You can put stuff on it. You could write on it with a gel pen. This side open to the right for lots and lots of space journaling you could put your pictures here and use some of that scrap stuff that I put in the in the front and you could put a piece right in the center to help tuck things behind it and then this side is going to open to the left to the right to the left and this is one of those tags that I made from leftover paper and then a nice big Blank tag with lots of journaling space, space for photos. You could permanently attach a photo back there if you wanted to. And, there. and then we flip it to the next page. And we have a tab, turn tab, so it goes down. There's some space here and then up pictures or you could journal on it or you could write on a piece of paper and stick the paper just at the top so the paper can lift up and you can still enjoy the artwork from the paper. And we have some pockets here that these are going to slide in and out of. So there's two of those there. And this one here, same thing. It's going to go right back in there hard to do with the camera in front of me there. There we go. Got it. Okay. And then there's a big pocket in the back here for the piece of the scrap paper. You can write on it. You could put your photo on here and write about where you went or what you did. 
That goes in the big pocket in the back. This flips up. This flips. Oh, sorry, I do that all the time. That flips down, then up, and then your tab swings down. It's your little swing, swing tab closure. And then on this page we have the double pocket. Nice simple double pocket. You could permanently fix a photo there. Journaling card. Another one of the cards with the leftover paper. This way for the double corner pocket again. And this is going to come out. And this is a little booklet. Back in there. to fix that and then the double pocket the double envelope pocket these are magnetic closures and then inside here we can bend this up pull it out lots of space for journaling pictures you could attach a wristband on one of those this one comes out as well there we go have this little fold over so that you don't lose it in there. You can just pull it out by that. And then that goes back in there. There we go. That's how it's supposed to go. These go down, then these attach. And again, this can be either way. So it can go this way or this way. Then we flip it to the side. And we have magnetic closure. Waterfall going this way, journaling space, some more of those nice long envelopes, lots of journaling space, or you could put two little photos there if you crop them down, both of those spaces. And then this big pocket in the back has, there we go, a nice big card. Slides back in there, and then these will come down. That will magnetically close. And then on this side, the back, this is a magnetic closure here. Folds open for a nice big journaling spot, and another one that folds to the left for two more spots. And then a nice big pocket card with a bunch of scraps to attach things with. And that is going to go close and close magnetic. And that is that one. 